Today, with the creation of the internet and the popularity of social media platforms, consumers have unlimited freedom to choose the content that they wish to view. This creates a problem for brands as their target audience continues to spread out over various forms of media and it becomes increasingly difficult to reach them. As a result, marketers discovered that influencer marketing could offer a solution to the problem. It allows brands to locate and advertise directly to their target audience. Influencer marketing is a relationship between a brand and an influencer. The influencer promotes the brand's products or services through their various media outlets, such as Instagram and YouTube, and they're usually trusted figures within a niche community that retain a loyal following. So instead of being skeptical of a commercial or a social media ad, consumers are trusting that if their influencer of choice loves the product, they will too. This is made possible only through dialogic media. So as an example of influencer marketing, I wanted to show you guys a case study of someone I know quite well, which is my sister. My sister's been doing some influencer marketing for the last year or two, and she's had paid collaborations from brands as well as tons of free product in exchange for social media coverage. My sister displays all of her products in Instagram stories and in her posts. As you can see, she shows her followers the product, explains what she loves, and offers a link to the brand and sometimes a discount code. What this means is various brands can advertise through my sister for a small fee or in exchange for free product to target her demographic of 5,000 young followers. These followers may never have been reached by the brand if they didn't go through Emily as their influencer marketer. So as you can see, there's a benefit on both sides, but it is a very smart move from a brand to use an influencer in this way and really take advantage of what you would call citizen journalists or in this case, a citizen advertiser. I think in the future, the public will become a little bit more skeptical of this influencer marketing and wonder whether or not the person actually uses the product or whether they're being paid as the lines are blurred and it can be a bit confusing. However, at the moment, with the prominence of social media and social media influencers creating a lifestyle and a career out of their YouTube channels or their Instagram pages and blogs, I think that this is going to be a technique that hangs around for a long time.